Okay, going to try a trial run of the pop can crusher here. And just so you know, it's me. Here I am. Big old beard and everything. Anyway, I have a flashlight pointed to highlight everything so we can see what's what and everything turning and all that stuff. So let's give it a run. Had to get some uh, actual pop cans that weren't crushed yet. So, as everyone else shows, here's pop cans. Uncrushed. Flat bottoms, flat tops. We'll give that a try and go from there. I have the switch over here on this side. So, here we go. We can try the bottom of the can, see if that works. Can's still good, didn't work. Now if I take a can that's already pre-crushed, just by using my hands, it will have enough wedge to get in between the wheels. This I know does work, so just to show that it can feed through, here we go. Taking a little peek here. Nothing's on fire. Motor's decently warm, just as as always. Not terrible. And cans are pretty crushed. There's a few of them. Just to show how thick or thin they got crushed. Everyone, uh, all the other videos, they show how thin everything got. So, not too bad. But, anyway, the grooves in the tires, or wheels, I will have to work on. I will give you a nice close-up 
of the grooves and hope to see and show. I'm just using my tablet here. But as we can see, I'm hiding the light. As we can see the grooves, they're relatively decent, but just to show at an angle of maybe how deep they actually are. Again, I'm hiding the light, sorry. So the grooves are so-so. I see my tablet auto flipped. Sorry about that. So again, I get position just right here. Uh, first time, bear with me. So, as we can see, the grooves are some are deep, some are shallow. Of course, I'm going to have to work on that. But for the most part, it will not do a normal, normal pop can. So, this is me in all my glory. Thank you for watching the first video of the Pop Can Crusher. Bye bye.